a serial killer is chasing you. Here's a camera to film him in 4K. <laughs> It's theory time! Hey hey hey! I'm the Global Cherry and we'll be uncovering a shocking theory and secret details in the Outlast Trials. Before we begin, subscribe, like the video, and enjoy the show! In Outlast Trials, you are abducted by Murkoff Corporation. According to Red Barrel's video game writer JT Petty, you, the victim, are deemed worthless by society, and the government turns a blind eye to your disappearance. Ouch! You later wake up in a facility where you are forced to take part in questionable experiments. <laughs> If you survive long enough, you are promised a return to society. Outlast Trials takes place in the Cold War era in 1959, before the events of all the Outlast games. We will learn the origins of Murkoff and their horrific plan. This corporation was involved in MK Ultra, mind control experiments conducted by the CIA in the 1960s. The purpose of MK Ultra was to modify behaviors, and in this disturbing experiment, test subjects were needed. If you look closely at the photos from Outlast Trials, you can see all the subjects wearing bracelets with initials. MK. They're all wearing night vision goggles in preparation for the survival tests. Well, the goggles were drilled into them, but that doesn't matter. Something sinister is going on. I believe this has something to do with Dr. Rudolf Wernicke from Outlast 1. As a scientist working for Nazi Germany, his skills were proven useful to the US against their enemies. He kickstarted the Wall Rider project and perfected a morphogenic engine to not only control the Wall Rider, but bring his patients to madness. The Wall Rider's nanites bind to a host, control them, and make them invisible to the eye unless filmed with a camera. Oh great, the Wall Rider's a vlogger. Don't come after me please. Could the purpose of Outlast Trials be to find the perfect candidate for the Wall Rider? Let's look at interesting secret details in the Outlast Trials. The garage poster has 666 on it. You and the other victims will explore different sets within the facility like a toy factory. You can also fight back in Outlast Trials with throwables, traps, and mines. However, who are we fighting? Let's take a look at our first main thread, Mother Gooseberry. She is a TV show host for Kids TV. She has the face every kid loves. The question is, how did she become this way? Wicked child. After a facial incident, she lost her job and her sweet nature. Her face has been burnt off and she stapled on another person's face. <laughs> In addition to her accident, she has daddy issues, leading to the creation of her creepy hand puppet, a representation of her horrid and abusive father. Our second threat is Coil, a police officer with a distorted notion of law. He will put a twist on whatever he thinks is right. He likes to torture his victims with an electric baton in many different ways, including very sus ways. The devs described him as having a twisted way of showing love. These two characters sound horrible, right? Well, at the end of the trailer, a man says, Thank you for volunteering for the therapy. We are all going to get better together. Could Gooseberry and Coil be exposed to the engine in hopes of treating their trauma? It will remain a mystery. Overall, what can we expect from this new Outlast game? What fans can expect on from Trials uh, is, is more suffering, I guess. <laughs> Someone claimed they released a game leak from the Outlast Trials. It features the protagonist running from a creepy doctor in the facility. On another note, what did Murkoff Corporation do after Outlast Trials? They reopened to Mount Massive Asylum under the guise of a charitable organization in 2009. This asylum was originally shut down due to MK Ultra being tested on inmates. Inmates could not even recall murdering each other. Why would Murkoff reopen the asylum? They wanted to devolve patients into variants and experimentation in attempts to create a host for the wall rider. They were also known to institutionalize, torture, or kill anyone who exposed Murkoff and their plans to the public. David Annapurna was one of the asylum staff processed as a mentally unstable patient for threatening to expose Murkoff to the press. He might be this guy. And you can't control it. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody! If I kill you, you, he's coming now. Dragon! Hey, you snitched on me! Dang it! Murkov also appeared to have also alerted Dr. Wernicke to the asylum under false pretenses. Time flies to 2013 when a man named Waylon Park sends a whistleblower email to Miles Upshire about the corruption at Mount Massive Asylum and Murkov Corporation. As a programmer for Murkov, he fixes the morphogenic engine's cameras and returns to the server room. His employer Jeremy Blair sees the whistleblower email and orders security to detain Waylon as a mentally unstable inmate. After exposure to the engine, he sees the wall rider free itself and cause a riot at the asylum. He uses this opportunity to escape and uses a raid to contact police, but Jeremy stops him. Huh. Uh. Uh. 
After falling a few floors down, Waylon has to escape Gluskin, a depraved man with an obsession to find a wife by making men into his wife with unpleasant methods. In Gluskin's mind, if there's a hole, there's a go. Rather die than be with me. Wayland hides in a locker, but Gluskin finds him and knocks him out with gas. Yeah, darling. This will help you relax. Miles arrives at the asylum and sees variants roaming the place. He gets ambushed by the large variant, Christopher Walken, and gets thrown off the balcony. It'll oh, okay! No, no, no! Put me down, put me down, put me down! It's Christopher Walken! A priest named Father Martin hovers over him and tells him to guard his life. He also sedates Miles when he tries to escape through the security room. Before losing consciousness, Miles sees on a camera feed an entity taking out the Murkoff security team. It's the Wall Rider. Our Lord, the Wall Rider, tearing his truth into the unbelievers. The only way out of this place is the truth. He gains consciousness and keeps running from ongoing threats, only to be rescued by an ex Murkoff employee, Richard Traeger. Yay, we're saved! Oh, he took two of my fingers! After surviving an encounter with Traeger and the Wall Rider, Miles sees Father Martin nailed to a cross and receives the elevator key to escape. The father was grilled into a human stake afterwards. The Wall Rider then chases Miles and saves him from Christopher Walken. Miles finds himself in a lab with Dr. Wernicke, the creator of the morphogenic engine. He tells Miles that the Wall Rider exists from experiments carried on a patient, Billy Hope. Billy was sold by his mother to Murkoff for a large sum of money and was kept alive by a large reservoir in a lucid dream state as a host for the Wall Rider. Wernicke instructs Miles to disable Billy's life support to kill the Wall Rider, but it brutally injures him after successfully doing so. You have to stop him to murder Billy. Turn off his life support, his anesthesia. You have to undo what I've done. No one can get out of this place while he lives. He opens the lab doors only to see Murkoff guards accompany Dr. Wernicke. They shoot Miles and he becomes the new host of the Wall Rider. God, Himmler. You have become the host. Waylon kills Gluskin, sees Father Martin's burning church from the window, and Murkoff's security hovering over Traeger's corpse. He reaches the asylum's exit only to be stabbed by Jeremy Blair. Jeremy tells Waylon that he will not live to tell the truth to the public. Miles, the new wall rider, kills Jeremy and wishes Waylon well as he drives away from the asylum in his car. No one can know! No one! Waylon then uploads the footage to a leak site after being told he'll become Murkoff's number one target. The story's pretty disturbing, right? What if I told you Outlast was based on a true story? According to a new video by the devs, the experiments in Outlast were inspired by the Allen Memorial Institute in Montreal. This is where Dr. Cameron's experiments occurred linked with MK Ultra. This is the Allen Memorial Institute. It's a great training center, but it's also where Dr. Cameron's experiments occurred uh, linked with MK Ultra. His goal was to replace unhealthy patterns in his patients' minds with healthy ones. The CIA funded research for this with mind-altering drugs or controlling someone remotely through a device implanted in their brain. That is scary. Outlast Trials will be released in 2022. Comment down below your theories on Outlast Trials or your opinions on it. And if you want more content like this, leave a like, share this theory with others, and join the family by pressing the subscribe button. I'll even consider doing a playthrough of Outlast. I feel like I'll regret saying this later. Thank you for watching. And that's all.